cos of 5 pi upon 8 can be written as cos of pi minus 3 pi upon 8 and cos of 7 pi upon 8 can be written as cos of pi minus pi upon 8. Therefore, the given expression is equal to 1 plus cos pi upon 8 times 1 plus cos of 3 pi upon 8 plus 1 plus cos of pi minus 3 pi upon 8 times 1 plus cos of pi minus pi upon 8. Now, cos of pi minus an angle is equal to minus of the cos of that angle. Therefore, cos of pi minus 3 pi upon 8 is equal to minus cos 3 pi upon 8 and cos of pi minus pi upon 8 is equal to minus of cos of pi upon 8. Therefore, the given expression is equal to 1 plus cos of pi upon 8 times 1 plus cos of 3 pi upon 8 times 1 minus cos of 3 pi upon 8 times 1 minus cos of pi upon 8. Combining the first and fourth terms and then the second and the third term, we get 1 minus cos square pi upon 8 times 1 minus cos square 3 pi upon 8. This is equal to sine square pi upon 8 times sine square 3 pi upon 8. Now we multiply and divide by 4 and therefore the given expression can be written as 1 upon 4 times in brackets 2 times sine of pi upon 8 times sine of 3 pi upon 8 whole square. This is equal to 1 upon 4 times in brackets. The expression in brackets can be written as cos of pi upon 8 plus 3 pi upon 8 minus cos of 3 pi upon 8 minus pi upon 8 whole square. This simplifies to 1 upon 4 times in brackets cos of pi upon 2 minus cos of pi upon 4 whole square. Cos of pi upon 2 is equal to 0 and cos of pi upon 4 is equal to 1 upon root 2. Therefore, the value of the given expression is equal to 1 upon 4 times minus 1 upon root 2 whole square which is equal to 1 upon 8 which is the required answer.